Yeah, there will be there will be uh, you know d discussions on whether this is enough or whether it's too much or or, or what uh, probably more whether this is enough. Um, but I think it's a good starting point for us uh, to work with our school divisions to start to add the uh, the resources that that are quite honestly um, we've been asked for uh, over the last number of months, not just by educators but also by parents. The resources of people uh, in our classrooms. So we've uh, we've made every effort and priority to move on this initiative early, understanding that the school boards will uh, take some time to build that capacity. To through the next number of months. Our boards and our teachers are doing great work with kids with the resources that they've got. We're encouraged that we're getting a reinvestment of some resources that we can put back into the classroom and get some of those much needed supports in place or back in place. And uh, there, there certainly, we certainly have um, our position going forward that we need to invest in our future, we need to invest in our students, and we will maintain that position. But we look forward to working with uh, the new minister and the new premier and ensuring that education remains in the forefront of of this government's priorities. I think it's important uh, in terms of the message that it sends to the sector in terms of our commitment to public education. And we heard that throughout the campaign and so we're pleased to be able to support the sector with respect to this interim funding and forward to ensuring that the, the additional funds are, are in the budget to support, uh, support classroom learning.